It's quite a group. Two Irish wolfhounds, a drum horse, a Welsh mountain pony, a Swaledale ram, two Kashmir goats and a Shetland pony. All but one of the army's regimental mascots. They've made history with their handlers, gathering for 10 days of high-level training at the Defence Animal Centre in Melton Mowbray. It's been an opportunity for their handlers to get expert advice in how to look after them. Facilities that I have here is second to none, so taking full advantage of everything that we can use to exercise Jones and get him fit and ready for, for parades is fantastic on our behalf. So I've just been there giving Jones a little, a little lunging lesson just to get him a, a bit warmed up, a bit of exercise. So this is one of the eight mascots that spent the last few days here in Melton Mowbray. Uh, this is Alamein. His nickname is actually Charlie. And for the last 18 years, he's been the mascot for the Queen's Royal Hussars in Germany. And uh, I've been told by his handler that his favorite food is mince. Let's see if he wants one of these. There you go. <laughs> that didn't last long, did it? We've got handlers here that have been doing it for eight to ten years and we've got handlers that have been doing it for six months. Um, and the difference in just them being together and passing their little bit of knowledge on what they do on a day-to-day -day basis is fundamentally the best thing possible. So how have they all been getting on? Are there any divas in the bunch? What, what, what's, what's the group like? <laughs> yeah, the group's really good. We've got one uh, diva in the bunch. Who, uh, who's that? <laughs> Llewellyn, probably. He's a, he's a, he's a lad. Yeah, uh, definitely, he's a good lad. He definitely stands out. Everyone, most of them are all quite calm and placid and disciplined all the time. He's only disciplined when he's on parade, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> there's always one, right? Yeah, exactly. Good boy. They're getting the animals ready for the final task of the training camp, a parade. But how will they all get on? It's quite a task, and the handlers aren't really sure how their mascots will do. Rehearsals have gone all right. Schenk is a little bit, um, a bit timid because he's got a wolf home behind him. So he's a little bit jumpy at the moment, which is to be expected because some animals are hunted, others are hunters, and he is one of the hunted. So he's a bit nervous when you've got a massive great uh, um, Irish wolf home behind him, puffing and panting like a, a madman. So he has a... Uh... He thinks he's a kangaroo at the best of times, so he does. Uh, as you can see, he's met the goat and shirt, and uh, the goats are wired up with the mince, so they are. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, a, it's interesting to see, especially with me and Connie being at the back of the parade. Connie likes to lead from the front, so either he'll take me around the parade or I'll be taking him around it, so we don't know who's doing that yet. And with the final touches made, it's time for the parade. The mascots and their handlers get into position. They know their inspection is only moments away. Everything has to be perfect. And they didn't disappoint their audience. Much to the delight of his handler, Schenkin the Fourth copes well with being so close to Brian Baru the Tenth from the Royal Irish Regiment. And apart from the odd bit of restlessness and the need for a quick break, one by one they all pass their inspection. No mean feat, as it's the commander of the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment making sure they pass muster. It's been a nervous wait, but the mascots have done their handlers proud. Each of them is then blessed by a military padre. Now their mission is to return, fitter, stronger and ready for an intense autumn term of public duties. We're missing one dog. After the photographer manages to skillfully get them all together for a quick photo.